Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I talked a little bit about it uh, at the watch party, but uh, I, I do want to bring it up again just because it's that Mother Schmuckers. Um, um, yeah. it, it's just uh, this, it, it, it falls into that WTF category of films. Mm. Um, you know, it's like it, it, it would find a nice home at Spike and Mike's if they did feature films. Um, it's these two brothers from uh, Brussels who, uh, who basically, you know, if I were to describe it as, uh, you know, there's, there's just elements of a lot of the over the top American comedy. There's the Three Stooges, Marx Brothers, South Park, um, Monty Python. Uh, you know, there's, there's a whole segment that's Weekend at Bernie's basically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know the young ones. Uh, you know, I think the overall vibe is the young ones uh, mixed with South Park. It, the movie moves just at this blinding pace, and um, and you know the, the I think it just solely exists to give you these weird, gross, obscene moments, and just string them together. And it's uh, and it, so essentially, it's these two brothers who live in Brussels. Uh, they're dirt poor. Um, the movie opens with them so poor that that the only food they can eat are, is basically um, their own feces, but they shape it as a steak and then they fry it for their mom. And the mom gets upset because because you know it's feces. And um, and then so rather than go out and get a job, the the two uh, go out trying to panhandle basically find friends who can give them or buy them food, and they take their mom's dog out with them and the dog gets lost as they're conning a friend into buying them uh, dinner so that he can date their mom. Um, and then the dog disappears, and then the friend's upset because the mom won't won't go out with him. And um, and then throughout the course of the film, there's there's mi uh, misadventures with a handgun, um, a, a pet fetish party where one of them has to dress up as a dog. Um, and, you know, it, it's... And someone's, I mentioned it, someone's wiener gets bit off. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, that's the scientific yeah. term. Yeah. Wiener. So, so there's these insane moments, but then they're, they're kind of brought, you know, they, you have these insane peaks, but then we're, we're brought back to normal as the two boys are rolling on the ground fighting each other. Um, it's so, it's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a movie that, you know, I know that most of, my friends won't like this movie at all, but there's just something strange. They're there, you know, it's, the, it's that, you know, nine, ten, nine out of 10 of my friends won't like this movie, but that 10th friend, you need to uh, look out for that person. I'm the 10th <laughs> friend. Needs to that I think we're all the 10th friend. Yeah. yeah. We're there. We're lost. <laughs> it's, it's, I, you know, I had a hard time giving it a seven, but there are just elements that was like, okay, I'm I'm invested, I'm intrigued in this. And I think if if someone pulled it up, I would definitely watch it again. I, I don't think I would actively go out and watch the movie again. Or I maybe I would. <laughs> yeah. You're a sicko. Uh okay, so it it I, I I found this this particular festival that they've they've been a bit uh proactive with their um their content warnings. Uh, yeah. And in this one, they made mention of animal cruelty, uh, and and oh, oh yeah, so, well, and so so like uh, uh, another critic, I can't remember where, maybe it was on the site or something on the Sundance site or something like that. But one critic was like, uh, you know, hey, is there real animal cruelty in this, or is it yeah, you know, it's, um, or, or it, I would call it. Uh, Penn and Teller animal cruelty. It's mm -hmm. it's where it's where they they will do something horrific to this animal, and then they'll bring out a different animal and say, "No, it's okay." <laughs> you know, um, um, yeah. it's it's okay, um, so. it, it's, it's a depiction, but it's uh, you know okay, it's it, it uh, you know you you have that warning because. You either have that warning because the film's about animal cruelty, or you bring that warning out because there's a moment of animal cruelty. And in this well, case, it's it is, a moment, it and it doesn't happen to a real animal. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like you know, oh, the and like I said, there's, a, there's a switch where where it's like, oh, the animal's okay, you know. 